I put together a case for Counter-Strike 2. 7 blues, 5 purples, 3 pinks, and 2 reds. Let's begin with the millispecs. We have the MAC-10 made in Hawaii. I think this skin is amazing, especially for the theme of it. If you're unaware, Valve sort of takes a yearly trip over to Hawaii. It's a very widely known thing. So actually having a Hawaii themed skin, I feel like would be great for CS2. For another millispec skin, we have the PP Bison anime chick. This sort of just has a chicken on it. The third millispec skin would be the Desert Eagle Stygian, very similar to the AK-47 Slayer. The Slate is an extremely popular skin already. For the fourth millispec skin, we have the USPS Split. It's yellow and on the brand new model. We then have the Negev box board. I think this skin's pretty cool. It's made out of cardboard. Just a nice millispec skin for the Negev. We then have the Caution for the Scout using the brand new model. This one has some really nice details all around. But then for the final millispec skin, we have the P90 Expo 2975. Overall, just a pretty nice looking p90 skin but now let's go into the restricted or the purple skins with cs2 it's highly expected for one of the first cases to include a zoo skin and i feel like one of the better rarities for it would be a purple or even a pink a red may be way too much for a zoo skin which is why we're going to be going with this olympus i think it has a really cool design we then have the ump coral reef yes what you are seeing our little fishes it looks like you are looking through glass Fitting onto that theme, there is the Dual Beretta's Hydro Strike. These are like little water guns. Another restricted or purple skin would be this Glock 18 Legacy. It has that old fashioned look. Not only is there a cool little screen on it, there's a bunch of different outlets as well. This is also on the brand new model. And then for the fifth and final restricted or purple skin, we have the MP9 Vivid Doubts. This skin is actually highly detailed when you start to look at it. But now let's go into the three pink skins. So let's begin with the FAMAS Viking. This is an incredible artwork, especially when you start to look at the fine detail. You'll notice when the player is reloading the FAMAS, they're actually reloading the artwork's beard. But on the other side of things, let's go into the Desert Eagle Future Fuchsia. You'll see it gives this skin this crazy lighting effect. I'm a huge fan of it and it looks absolutely insane in the game. The skin is still completely flat on the surface, but with the new skin's potential, we'll be able to see some crazy effects like this. Back to the more classical artwork style for skins, let's go into the M41S Koi. The Koi fish is symbolized in China with wealth and success, so I feel like having a skin like this would translate very well. But now let's go into the covert skins for this CS2 case. Let's begin with the AK-47 Porcelain. This skin is actually crazy. I feel like if they add it into the game, it might be one of my favorites. It literally looks like it's some plate that you would find hiding in your grandma's cupboard. A very simplistic but also elegant white and blue AK-47 skin. But now let's go into the Op Scarlet Precision. This skin is sort of a play on the hot rod. Added it over to the Op, but then also added some fine racing details to it. Seeing as the hot rod finish got benefited with the CS2 lighting, I feel like it would be great for them to add another one to the collection, like this op skin right here. For the gold, let's hope they release some classic finishes to some of the knives that were found in the game files. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 